what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video this week we're doing a um, video game hunt video this is this will be episode two so <clears throat> last weekend I leveled up in life so now 41 years old and uh, we decided to go to Kings Lynn never been there before game hunting I know there was one retro game store there which is retro tree which we uh, do go and take a look at but we want to go and see what else was in and around the area so um, yeah join me and uh, we'll go through the footage I managed to take I did take a GoPro this time so hopefully the footage is a little bit better than the last video but yeah without further ado let's get into it So as you can see from the footage, charity shops, that was the recording of one charity shop because the other couple that I went into had absolutely nothing at all either. A lot of DVDs, quite nice to see some VHS in a charity shop but nothing I'm really interested in. Um, but yeah, next we uh, moved on to CEX, decent sized CEX you'll see from the footage. Um, let's go there. As you can see from the CEX footage, it's a pretty decent sized store, not a great um, retro section in there, but it wasn't too bad, quite nice to see the big UN64, uh, you know, a few retro games, very nice um, Darkwing Duck, is it Darkwing Duck I think, something like that, um, but yeah, um, loads of 360, loads of Wii, um, probably one of the biggest DVD sections I've ever seen in a um, CEX and so in there we did pick up um, Sean White snowboarding on the Wii 75p Tony Hawk's downhill jam on the Wii for a pound and then actually from the DVD section I picked up the last airbender because I, I really enjoy this film so good um, but I never had a copy or I don't think I've got a copy if I have I've got two now but 
it is what it is. So yeah. So next place we go is to Retro Retreat. So let's look at that footage. Right, so as you can see, Retro Retreat, it's not a, not a massive store, but it's packed with a bit of everything and a great selection of games as well. Some amazing box Nintendo cardboard, I'll tell you, like NES, N64, um, Super Nintendo, some really, really nice titles. Um, Sega Dreamcast, you don't see a lot of that, but there was a fair bit there. There was a little bit of everything, and what was there was, you know, really decent quality very small mass system section which I was a little bit gutted about but there was one game there which I did pick up which I will show on next weekend's episode in my mass systems pickups video so yeah stay tuned for that but yeah there was there was definitely one title that I did need which I did manage to pick up at a very reasonable price um, but yeah as I say the store is really nice if you're ever in Kingsley area do jump in uh, the guy in there was very friendly. There's, you know, Pokemon section and all sorts of stuff in there. So, very, very nice store. I highly recommend it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you stay tuned for this week's hashtag Master System Challenge, which is Wonderboy Monsterland. Haven't played this, only ever played Wonderboy 3, I think it is. Yeah, one by three, Dragon's Trap. That's the only one I played as a kid. So looking forward to having a go at that. And uh, yeah, don't forget to leave that. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.